my real name is Francois, but like some people couldn't pronounce it, so they started calling me Frenchie for short, and it just stuck since then. And then OTM, that comes from my neighborhood. Like OTM stands for out the mud, you feel me? We came from nothing. We had to get it up out the dirt. So that's what just stuck with me. I noticed on your social media, for instance, with your Instagram, it says OTM underscore Carl. Okay, all right. Carl, I got him tatted also on my forearm. That's my little brother name. He died when we was younger. He got kept by one of his friends. You feel me? And like ever since then, I changed my Facebook to his name, changed my Instagram to his name. And on Instagram also, um, I tried to change it to OTM Frenchie, but it was a fake page with me, like OTM Frenchie, and they didn't let me change it to that. So. Now, soon, how soon after he passed away did you change your social handles to his name? I want to say about two years. Did he already have a social handle with OTM Carl or Carl out there already or no? Nah, his social media was actually his like real full name. I see. What was the reaction you got from people after you had uh, made your social media handles his name? Nothing really, like, not too much people say them, but, like, every, like, everywhere I go, like, if you don't really know me or nothing like that, like, people would be calling me Carl. They'd be like, hey, Carl, Carl, Carl. They'd be like, so who is Frenchie? If you call, who Frenchie is? Like, they get confused. Now, uh, when it, in regards to your brother, how were you notified of his passing? News. You heard about it on the news? Yeah, I seen it on the news. Like when I woke up one day, it was just like everywhere on the news. Before even somebody could even notify you personally, yeah. you saw it on the news. Mm -hmm. When you saw this on the news, what were you thinking? I shared it. Shared me down, you feel me? I dropped a couple of tears, but then like, I don't really cry too much. So like, after that, I was just like, I ain't got no heart for nothing, no left. Nobody can't trust nobody. You feel me? You don't know what's what, who, who. Were you shocked? Yeah, yeah, I was shocked to find out it was like one of his homeboys. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, how did you cope with this after finding out about it? Music. That's how I cope with everything. Music. I talk about it in my music. Feel me. Write it down. Whatever. Have you made a song about him yet? I made plenty. I made a lot of them. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what are some of the names of the songs that people watching this can look up and, and listen to right now if they wanted to? I got one. It's called uh, R.P. La Car. It's on SoundCloud. I got one I remixed off a Meat Mill beat. The um, the one he made about Lil Snoop, I remixed that and made it about Lil Carl. I have a couple of them. I made one off for uh, Meat Mill Traumatized beat also. Uh, what's the uh, correlation with Meat Mill? Why do you continue using Meat Mill uh, beats or songs talking about your brother? Is there a significance there, or? I feel like Meek Mill rap about a lot, a lot of like situations that people go through, like struggle music, pain, all that. And the beats, they they hit home like every time. Like I listen to one of them, and be like, yeah, I like this right here. Using your music to cope with the death of your brother, uh, the first song you made was it referencing him, or did you actually make a song and talk about him? completely. Like actually talked about him, like how we used to hang out, play basketball together, go to the pool together, a lot of stuff. Which song was that? That was R.P. Carr. How it soon? Was, go ahead. It was off the, um, the Boosie, I Want Sex beat. How soon after his death did you make that song? Like right after he died, I want to say like a week after that. Was that emotional creating that? Hell yeah. Did you shed a tear to, to, to making that song too? After that, like after he first died, shed no more tears after that. 
When it came to creating this song in particular, did it ever get to the point where you weren't going to be able to finish it? Maybe it got too tough to finish it, or maybe, you know what, it's not the right time. Mm, never. When I make music, I go like straight through it. Like, I don't even get to the thought of my head, like, oh yeah, I'm giving up, and then like that. Like, anything like I go through, like, it make me go harder, it make me like, Think harder and think smarter. When does one know the right time to make a song like that? Is there ever too soon of a time to do it or too late of a time to do it? It's never too soon and never too late. Like once a person gone, like, I mean, it can be too late. Like if you like wait, like, 10 years or something like that, way well, yeah, after that, and then you finally make a song, then it's like, damn, it took you that long. Like, what was going on? What were the reactions to other family members that heard that song? They loved the song. Did you ever make a video to any of those songs? Nah, uh, not really. Why not? I was younger when I had did them, and I ain't really like, I wasn't really like into the music, like into the music like how I am now. I see. Uh, did he ever do music himself? Not really. He played football. He saw you do music? Yeah. What would he think right now about your music career? And where you are right now at this point? He'll love it right now. He'll, be, he'll probably be right here with me. I ain't even going to lie to you. He'll be right here with me. Would he be surprised how far you've gotten or no? Yeah. Why you think? Cause we came from nothing. Like in our city, like don't too many make it. In our neighborhood, don't too many make it. Either they make it to a cell or they make it to a grave. When it came to his death, did you ever seek counseling or therapy to cope with it aside from the music or no? Mm, not to be funny or anything, but I feel like that's white people shit. Never tried it? Never. Would you? No. Nah. Don't need it? No, sir. Did you attend the funeral? That either. I don't like funerals. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I hate them. Last funeral I ever went to was my grandma's funeral. And I cried my eyes out. I ain't like it. Never again. What do you miss the most about your brother? The little noise he used to make in my ear, like he used to like come up behind me and he'd go right in your ear, make a real loud noise and make your ear ring. So funny. Just to like surprise you type of thing? Keep, yeah. Get you off your feet? Uh, do you have a favorite memory of your brother you can share with us? Uh, favorite memory? We was in the studio and then he was trying to like show me like he know how to like rap and stuff. And he was saying a lot of dumb shit. I was laughing at him. It was like real funny. Let's say somebody's watching this right now, and maybe they're experiencing the death of a sibling. Could be a brother, could be a sister. Uh, circumstances could be different for everybody, but any general advice here on somebody that has to deal or go through those motions right now? Anything you would tell them? Keep your head up, stay strong. I mean, keep praying, pray every day, never give up. If you got a dream, live your dream, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, it don't matter where they at, they still going to be watching you. Maybe you might not see them, you might not feel them, but they're going to always be there, like somewhere with you. If you like really was click tight with them, love them like that, they're going to always be around. So you just got to live your life.